from uh, one of the victors right now. Dupree joins us from the player area. Dupree, congratulations. Uh, championship winning form, perhaps not, but uh, day one, first matches, they're always a bit edgy like this, and you've played a very good team. I guess you're satisfied. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, as Fallen said, a winner's win, so we're just happy that we won, even though we actually, we feel like we should have closed out the game a little bit earlier, but I mean, also, Immortals played great, and in the end, we just we're just happy that we won. Mm. Were you were you a little uh, not upset, but were you a little like, oh Christ, how how have we ended up with Immortals first round? Because it's a tough game, isn't it? I mean, yeah, obviously Immortals is a really great team, and they're a team that has just added a new player, and they in general they just it's the first time at a major as well for the for the majority of the players, if not all of them. Um, so they're very hungry to, to perform here and actually went out go out and play well, and they sure did. And the double up from from KNG and and Henny is a is a really hard thing to play against. So it's just a tough opponent, but we knew we could beat them, and we're just here to win, so. Yeah. I, I guess pressure is everything. You already know about the pressure, having been the champions already. But I think a lot, what a lot of people have been talking about, the analysts here on the panel, the public, the press, the uh, fans, and what have you, is this you know, skipping ESL1 Cologne, is it going to be a good thing or a bad thing? Talk to us about it from your perspective. So the thing, the decision behind skipping Cologne was mainly to actually prepare us much for the major, because this is the tournament we want to defend our title in the most, since it's obviously the second and most important tournament of the year so going into this as prepared as possible was our main priority and going to Cologne and actually even playing even too much or get burned out as I mentioned some of the SK guys mentioned yeah. um, then I believe that we've actually made the right decision and, and time will tell if it actually pays off in the way we want so we'll see. All right, good stuff. Uh, I've got Sponge and Yanko alongside me. I'm sure they've got a few burning questions as well. <laughs> to build on that, you said you know you took that off to, to prepare, right? In, in you probably can't tell me, and you probably won't tell me. But in which way? <laughs> but did he's going to try anyway. Which way did you prepare the most? Is this looking into your opponents to try and have a good game plan for each and every matchup? Because I know you guys do that very well. You you have a lot of uh, things in store, and you know how to play around to certain team team styles. Or was it more going back and adding more things to your arsenal? Because I saw you guys falling back on that B execute again on this one, and it didn't really pay off for you here. So. So I think it's a it's a two way thing, and obviously I'm not going to reveal any like super. Uh, Could you please? No, 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 <laughs> no, that's going to be that's going to be too easy for the teams. No, but uh, we we've looked onto our own game plan, but also we're also looking uh, to study the opponent a lot more. Uh, but obviously, it main main thing has been to look at ourselves and see what type of tactics works for us and what does not, and like you know clean up a little bit in our in our, in our playbook and actually see what works the best for us. And yeah, we fell back to the to the execute we have on the beat bomb side on, on overpass because it usually works. Yeah. And this time, Immortals decided to most of the times I think they ran a like a, a B five man retake, which was really great for their side uh, we were just having a horrible after plan situation and our communication was too bad to, to actually hold them back so they just picked off us off one one at a time so cool. kudos to them but in the end then yeah yeah talking a bit more about the map uh, first were you, were you surprised by the fact that they would let overpass through and second uh, we heard from zach he said that they knew that this map was going to be played like three weeks ago <laughs> and that they prepared uh, specifically for you guys, do you feel like while you were playing, did you feel like you were getting countered by, by something that they were doing? I think the only one that mentioned being countered, actually having something strong against him was Sipix. I felt he got pushed on B, uh, like on the offense, as when he was playing terrorist outside of uh, Monster, he got pl pushed quite a while. Uh, quite a lot, that's, that's more right. Um, and I believe that that's the only thing we actually felt. Overall, I think they prepare for us as a team and not as individuals, so I mean, Apart from that, no, I don't really feel like it. And yeah, we were quite <laughs> surprised that Overpass actually let through. We were kind of expected to play either Mirage or Inferno. So. Funny that, isn't yep, it? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. What, yeah. Uh, what our <laughs> analyst picked out on the panel as well, uh, Peter. Uh, one quick question. Well, I guess what other people might say, some fans and, and obviously people that are against you to win another championship here at the Major will probably look at this result and go, ooh, maybe they're a bit rusty after not playing a tournament. It, any, any fact, any truth to that rumour? <sighs> well... Playing the first game at a major and the first game at a ma uh, at a tournament in general is always a little bit shaky. You have to get into the setting of playing at another computer and and having to to work together as a unit a lot more than you do online. Uh, people play differently on LAN, and you also saw the fact that SK was up what was it like 11-0, and then yeah. the act Penta almost came back and, and, and won. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's anything to say in the best of one, and especially in the Swiss system where a lot of the the matches could go in the favor of the underdog. So no. Listen. Paul, let's remember, at the last major, they managed to lose to Godsend somehow and still go on to win the whole well, thing. But they lost so two. I, I wouldn't be worried <laughs> too yeah. much about this They lost this twice result. in the last game and still won the major. So uh, good start for you, Peter, and uh, congrats to your team. Uh, pass on my congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. Thank you.